right, guys, you know what time it is. We've got six things you should know. And number one on our list with President Trump's September 20th deadline looming for ByteDance, the Chinese owner of TikTok, to sell the popular app or have it banned in the United States. TikTok has actually found a new owner for a U.S. operation. It's the Oracle Corporation, and they won the bidding war for one of the most popular social media apps. That's exciting. TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, will partner with Oracle as it runs the U.S. side of the app's operations. The Committee on Foreign Investment still needs to approve the deal before September 20th deadline given to ByteDance to sell its U.S. operations. you got to be thrilled about this. <laughs> I was going to say. You're burgeoning For TikTok right now, star. guys, TikTok is safe. That's a, that's a big deal. I made my own, my first TikTok last week, and I got like, I think like 20,000 views on the video, which is was good? pretty good. Is it pretty good? I mean, it's pretty good for my first video, yeah. right? I was pretty excited. What's the goal here? You want to go viral. You want to have like millions of views. Okay. We're not quite there yet. We could get there though. I believe in me. I you and Do I, you I, believe could, in yeah, me? Yeah, we could figure something out <laughs> on this show that gets us <gasps> a million views maybe. Okay, let's try it out. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, number two on our list today, the straw that stirs in your ice drink at Starbucks will swirl in your cup no more. So the coffee chain giant says it will no longer give you single-use straws with your ice drinks. The chain hopes to hit a 50% reduction in landfill waste by 20. 30. However, the straws aren't totally disappearing from all Starbucks drinks. Blended beverages like Frappuccinos and other drinks with whipped cream will still get a domed, lin, domed lid with a straw. So they go, they're going kind of strawless. They're, they're trending in that direction. They're not committing full on, but they're like, we're going to try this out and see. Uh, oh, six, what is the place in town that does paper straws? Key, Mexico. They yeah, do there's paper quite straws. A, there's quite a few now. And I think that's good. You Doesn't know, bother me at all. Less waste, it like, but it just kind of falls apart and then yeah. goes away. Chip the in where we ones? can. I think so. This is nice. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> stick around like the plastic <laughs> straws do. Way to go, Starbucks. All right, guys, and straws may be, um, may be going away, but vinyl is in. The vinyl resurgence is stronger than ever with vinyl records outselling CDs for the first time since the 1980s. So in the first half of this year, vinyl sales brought in $232.1 million, more than 100 million more than compact discs. Wow, for the past 15 years, records gradually increased in sales, but this is the first time in decades that vinyl has surpassed CDs. I wonder why that is. It's just the nostalgia. People really like getting their vinyl records. I'm in the <laughs> camp of like, can we just pick one thing or another? Because now I pay, what is it, like $10.99 a month for a music subscription service, yep. as most people do. But like now we still, ha do we physically still have to own the music? So, you I'm know. I'm with the vinyl. I'm going to have to get a record player because it does look really cool. It is pretty neat just pretty to handle those things. And, you know, a lot of people's parents still have the, uh, the old vinyl records yeah. kind of sitting around. So a nice way to repurpose those. Dust it off, put it out, listen yeah. to some music. All right, guys, and with the pandemic bringing more challenges to parents with full-time jobs, more workplaces are actually working to meet their needs, the needs of employees with children. Yeah, Haley Pilot shares more. If you're a dad working from home or a new mom scared to go back to work during the pandemic, don't be afraid to lean on your workplace. Employers do a lot of things these days. They offer everything from pet walking services to sometimes, you know, shoe shines and manicures in the office. Founder and CEO Debbie Yadagari says companies hire Village to help both moms and dads juggle the work-life balance. We provide working parents, the employees, uh, with one-on-one -on -one personalized support. And with the stress of kids now going back to school, whether at home or in person, parents need that support. Everything from needing to have that awkward conversation with your boss about your transition, either going out on leave or back, to breastfeeding, pumping in the workplace, getting your child to sleep through the night. Even helping companies build lactation rooms and safe breastfeeding spaces for moms. And providing specifically support for breastfeeding moms tremendously reduces health care costs within a company. Reducing stress for working parents and in turn making them better workers. The American Academy of Pediatrics says for every dollar a company spends on a lactation program, they'll return three dollars in value. Working moms are extremely stressed as it is. The pandemic only adding to that stress, but Yadagari says the more you take care of yourself, the better you'll be as a parent and a worker. It's hard to check your hat at the door these days. We're workers 24 seven and we're absolutely parents 24 seven. So when employers can support their employees in a way that's so personal and so important to their employees, 
it's just a win-win for all. And moving on here to our number five, the highly anticipated Xbox Series X rolls out November 10th, but getting one could prove to be a little tough. Taco Bell is teaming up with a company to give away the new console, though, and that's good news. It is pretty easy. You just download the Taco Bell app and join the Taco Bell Rewards beta program. Those who agree by today to receive emails for the new digital rewards program will be able to register to win an Xbox and daily drawings from September 15th through the 20th. And we decided to give you a feel-good story for the six things you should know today. And out of the ashes from one of California's destructive wildfires comes a sweet survival story. So sheriff's deputies searching through burned homes in Buck County Friday found a puppy hiding in the debris. The little guy was treated for minor burns at a local vet clinic, and he's doing okay. And his deputies decided to name him Trooper. After doing some police work, deputies, deputies discovered the homeowner has several dogs and was not able to loc him, locate them all before needing to evacuate. Look how sweet. This is a great story. It is awful what's happening out I in know, the West I right know. now. It's just, yeah, terrible. So it's good to see something, something positive happening. Something there. positive for sure. He's a tough cookie. She would have to be to like a survive all that. Cookie. Yeah. And he sure is cute. All right, guys, that wraps up our six things you should know. But before we head to break, teachers are back in the classroom. And this year, they're faced with more challenges than ever. Here at NBC6, we want to take some of that stress away from local educators. Yeah, Lynn Vance introduces us to this week's Adopt a Teacher and tells us how we can help out. Every Monday, we spotlight a local teacher in need of your help with her Amazon wish list. This week's adopted teacher is Lori Winget. She teaches math at Airline High School. I asked Ms. Winget to tell me how teaching is different this year. It's, it's not the same at all. Um, the kids are really, really quiet, which is bizarre. You know, before we, we just wanted them to be quiet so we could teach and now I just want them to talk because I can't, you know, they're just there's some so concern, there's some concern there now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just, they're, you know, I, you, I don't get a chance to really get to know them um, the way that I normally would. And so um, that's upsetting, but mm -hmm. um, we're making the most of it. Watch Ms. Wingett's full interview and find a link to her Amazon wish list at arclatexhomepage.com slash The Lynn Vance Show. Also, keep an eye on our NBC6 and The Lynn Vance Show social media platforms and support teachers in our community by sharing the post with hashtag NBC6 Adopt a Teacher. Fernanda and Josh, back to you. Thank you, Lynn. All right, guys, we have to take a quick break. But when we return, we talk about your health and tell you about the best personali ac personalized acute care in your area. Plus, if you're looking, if you're overlooking in the mirror and seeing those signs of aging like wrinkles and under eye bags, I may have a solution for you that works in just minutes. And later, Fernanda gives us some great tips on how to save money when it comes to our air conditioning. We'll be right back. <laughs> 